Hey guys, this is Prem. Today let's talk about the huge of my biography then play by success story. Let's see. In 1953, writer and illustrator Hugh Jefner created the men adult entertainment magazine Playboy, which played the role in the sexual revolution of 1960s. Jefner built the controversial and groundbreaking magazine into the international enterprise. Jefner born on April 9, 1926 in Chicago. Jefner came from normal family life. He went to Shirley Elementary School, where his reportedly his IQ was 150 to that. Its academic performance was generally modest. While in school life, he became a president of the school council, founded a school newspaper, and a yearly sign of journalist talent. He also created the comic book entitled School Daisy, in which the generally reticent youngster was able to be center of own imagined universe. Epner earned his bachelor degree in 1946. The same year, he married his first wife, Mildred Williams. He later did a semester of graduate school work in the areas sociality focusing and the sex research institute established by Albert Kinsey. By the early 1950s, Epner had landed a cooperative job of the Chicago office of Esquire magazine. Epner opted not to remain with the publication, which moved to New York when he was denied a five dollars rise. So finally, Epner was in December 1950. Three April producing the first edition of Playboy magazine. The first issue quickly sold more than 2,000 copies and became an instant sensation. America in the 1950s was attempting to distance itself from nearly 13 years of war and economical depression. For many, the magazine provided the welcome antidote to sexual repression of era. For those who initially dismissed the magazine as a pornographic publication, a Playboy soon brought in its circulation with the thoughtful articles and brain presentations. The Playboy logo depicting the stylish profile of the rabbit wearing a tuxedo bowtie, appearing in the second issue and remaining the trademark icon of the brand. Epner chose the rabbit for the humorical sexual connotation and because the image was a fixy and playful. Epner decided his magazine would instead cater to the cosmopolitan intellectual male and future more over sexual imaginary. Epner never lost sight of the fact that his first picture of nude woman will ultimately sold the magazine. Later 1950s Playboy circulation as surpassed the rival magazine Esquire with sales reaching a million copies a month. As a single man, Epner has a many girlfriends and become a nose of romantic, unpretentious person. In the 1960s, Hugh Jefner became a person of Playboy, the famous and wealthy, always in the company of young beautiful women. As the magazine increased, success came to the attention of mainstream public. Epner was happy to portray himself as a direct icon of spoke person of sexual revolution of 1960s. This was also a golden age of revival. This was also Playboy Golden Age as ever increasing circulation all over Epner to build a vast enterprise of private key clubs. Later, Epner Playboy Enterprises also built hotel restaurants and started modeling agencies. In 1971, Epner had built a Playboy Enterprises into the Manjur Corporation. The company went public and the magazine circulated its 17 billion copies, a month earning a 12 billion dollars. 